Hello, this is John Sterrett from Procure SQL. In our previous tip, we showed you exactly what is data skew and what is parameter sniffing. I'll make sure that we have a link in the description below for you if you want to go check that out. But in this tip, we're going to continue off of that theme. We're going to go over how can you resolve these issues. In fact, how can SQL Server help resolve them for you? without you having to do anything automatically. In this tip, we're gonna go over automatic tuning, forcing good plans. To automatically detect if you have an execution plan that's better for your query, and automatically decide to use it, or even revert back if performance gets worse later on in time. Let's go ahead and start to use some of the wonderful features that were given to everyone with SQL Server 2017. So, first of all, Query Store must be enabled. So this is a 2016 feature, but the whole point of Query Store here is that with it enabled, it will allow us, if we want on our own, to go see metrics that we might want to go ahead and use to our advantage as a tool in our toolbox for tuning our workload. But what's nice is even though we don't have automatic tuning plan changes enabled, we can still look at the recommendations. So if you've never done performance tuning at all, this is actually a sneaky, nice way for you to get some training. You can actually dive in and look and see what did the optimizer want to do and try to go through and look at the plans and see why. All right, so let's go ahead and jump in and take a quick look at Query Store here. So here we go. If we go ahead and look at our top resource consuming queries, what we're going to see here is we have our one query inside a Query Store, but it has different execution plans, right? We have our small data, we have our big data. So we could go ahead at any point in time and say, force a plan here, but we have to do the logic here looking and make that decision. Automatic tuning plan selection here will look at the data inside a query store and automatically do this for you and revert when performance changes in a negative way as well. All right, so now let's go ahead and jump back over to automatic tuning. Well, we do not have it enabled at this point in time, but as I mentioned, we can actually go through and review the recommendations. So I'm going to go ahead and run this query here. And what you're going to see here is we have a recommendation. We could see average query CPU time has gotten worse as we physically shown in our demo here. And how I showed you with Query Store through the report, how there was a button where we can force a plan. This is basically the T-SQL that would happen if you click that button. So this is saying that we got our query here and it's using the current plan ID number two. And we really recommend you use plan ID number one. And you might wonder, okay, this is great. How did you get here? Well, here you can see some real good data behind regressed plan execution and recommended plan execution. So we could see how often this ran and what its regressed metrics were like CPU here versus the recommendation and even get some estimated gains here. So once again here, if you wanted to see, okay, which plans are these again? You can go ahead and dig through the DMVs. Or if we go back over to our top resources here, report inside of Management Studio, we can go over here and go ahead and tell it to compare the plans for both the queries we just selected. And so here you can see plan one, plan two. And here you could do a nice comparison to see how did they change.
All right. Also here, you can go ahead and look at the properties. So we could see the properties of the execution plan and see exactly how they all changed here as well. So let's go ahead and we're going to close down this and we're going to go back over to our demo now. And now we're going to go ahead and take a look at what would happen if we actually turned on force a good plan feature that's provided by automatic tuning. So let's go ahead here and we're going to go ahead and get back to our starting point of clearing everything out. And now we are going to go ahead and enable automatic tuning. And one of the first questions you might ask is, John, how do I know if this is enabled? Well, this is a database setting. And by running the DMV here, automatic tuning options, you can easily see its desired state and its actual state here. All right. So let's go back again now with automatic tuning enabled and we're going to re go through our demo. So once again here, we threw out our plan. So we're going to build an execution plan the first time we run this, even though we're going to run it 30 times. We're using territory ID number nine, which has the majority of the data here, 273,000 rows. When we run this here, this is going to go ahead and give us our index scan here. And we are not using our index and doing the nested loop to get the data inside of a key lookup here because the optimizer determines that this is actually better. We've reached what's known as the tipping point to go ahead and get that data. So once again here, we ran this 30 times. It finished in about 13 seconds, so once again, ballpark will say half a second in execution. So once again, we're going to remove out our execution plans and one time run our stored procedure to build the execution plan for the stored procedure with the small amount of data. Remember, this is our 100 rows. And because of this, our execution plan changes and it builds an execution plan that's more optimized for retrieving a small set of data here. All right, so now that we have our stored procedure here locked in, we are now going to run the stored procedure again with our big set of data, but remember that the plan that's being used that's in memory in cache to be reused is going to be the one for the small amount of data. So once again, we're going to start to see that this does our nested loop. Once again, think of this as a for loop and we're running through this 273,000 times. This is going to take quite a bit to run. Now we're going to start to notice a big difference though. And we see it right exactly here. So I haven't done anything to change any code. I haven't added any indexes or anything. We'll find what happens here is automatic tuning realizes, hey, I have a better plan that works for the workload that is running here. So it automatically locks in and forces that good plan and switches to it. So this could prevent you from getting woken up in the middle of the night. So once again, now remember when we ran this before, it took us over a second per execution, right? Now this time we still ran it 20 times, but now we're quite a few seconds underneath our execution. So we're a little bit under one second per execution here. So now that we can see exactly automatic tuning here has locked in the good execution plan for us, we can go ahead and look at exactly some more data behind it inside of the DMVs. So here we're going to go ahead and run this query here and we're going to see that our force last good plan here, its identifier, we can see why it was kicked on. 
We can also see how long it's been valid. The last time there was a refresh here to look to see if this plan is still valid. Execution start time. Here you can see who initiated this. All right, so we know this was automatically done by automatic tuning and exactly at what time it was changed. All right, and here's some more details that basically we're just pulling out of the JSON. So the state that we were in at the time that this is running, you know, our last good plan was forced, the code that was ran to force it, And now we can go ahead and rerun our workload. And we know that our good execution plan now is locked in by automatic tuning. And we should see it use it. So we're going to go ahead and run this. And we can see that we shifted back over to our good execution plan here. Hi there, this is John Starrett again. I hope you enjoyed this tip. If you did, please hit that big thumb up. Also, if this is your first time, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you can get the latest new videos from us. Also, you can go ahead and get more reference links to the sample code and other great tips in the reference down below. Also, if you have any questions, let us know. Throw them in the comments area. I'd love to answer them and uh, see if we can help you make your data run faster. Hope you have a great day. We'll see you in the next tip.